This is your city. You have the chance to realize your purpose. Green Arrow and the Canaries, the episode that we've all been waiting for is finally here and I'm so excited because the coolest Canaries that I know are here in Studio at ET. <laughs> oh, Katie, you. Juliana, oh. thank you so much for coming in. Thanks girl, it's an Happy honor to, to be, be here. here. Oh yes. my goodness, this is an episode that fans have been so excited for since it was first announced. What was it like stepping into this backdoor pilot? I mean, it was it, it was amazing. It was it was. What's nice about it is it feels fresh, but it still lives and has the same aesthetic, mm -hmm. and it still lives in the same world. Mm -hmm. um, but it just it it was just it, the show, the episode the show is just it takes it to another level. It elevates things in a way, and it was fun, especially like for our characters. Um, you know what they've gone through to get to this point where they're at and yeah. their reasoning why and discovering, you know, for, for Laurel uh, Earth 2, learning more about her, um, her, her background, we know a little bit, not a lot, mm -hmm. um, and just, you know, women kicking ass yeah. and yeah. a lot of action and that it definitely is a time, it's definitely a time for that and, um, you know, it's, yeah. it's incredible, yeah. I love it. We just honestly felt so grateful. We've just been so overwhelmed with gratitude to have this opportunity where like all of these things, this possibility of a continuation of this world exists and mm -hmm. like it's women and it's us and our family and we get to stay together. So yeah, we're like, we're so happy and excited. Absolutely. And so this is a very special episode. Basically fans are getting a peek as to what could be a new Arrow spinoff. Mm -hmm. How does that feel for you guys knowing that this is a backdoor pilot? Did you feel any pressure when you were going into it? There's definitely Definitely pressure, yeah. um, but more, for me anyway, it was more excitement and more, I was, I love, you know, in terms of the writers and how they've written for me and um, as an actor, like I love the, the arcs and, the, and just like the different characters and mm -hmm. the different versions and I like to sink my teeth into like good character background stuff yeah. and so I was more excited yeah. um, and it was the same. Yeah. yeah, same, yeah, I was, um, it, interestingly, I think I felt more pressure going into Arrow because it already existed and there was like a world to come into and um, that I felt pressure. Uh, as soon as I met everybody, the pressure was gone, but um, coming into this, it was like excitement, like we can do what we want and we can create something new. And um, so it's more just like having a blank canvas. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Let's talk a little bit about the premise of this first episode. We're coming in, of course, after Crisis on Infinite Earths, right. which was a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah, Set the scene was... a little bit for the fans. What can they expect from this first episode? I would say not necessarily what they're gonna see. Oh. <laughs> Expect the unexpected, I guess. <laughs> totally. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, you see many different versions of people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> we're always like, can I say that? Yes. <laughs> um, you sort of, again, that, that same feeling of um, it being elevated and mm -hmm. that even, it goes that far even with the characters and the chemistry between mm -hmm. Jules and I. Um, you know, it's light, but at the same time, you know, we're still in the Arrowverse and they're it's still... It's familiar. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I'm gonna just stop saying you can. If I'm like, I don't want to no, get in trouble. I, I, I'm only gonna say things when it's different than what you're saying because I agree with everything. You're saying. Um, so without giving away too much information, you'll see a lot of characters who fan fan favorites, and you'll see them grow and be in different positions than maybe you thought. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, that's a good it's, it's Arrow with a twist. Oh, Arrow with a twist. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like a martini. I'm gonna, yes. I'm gonna trademark that. I like that. this. Ooh. I like this. <laughs> and then at the end you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's a hangover. <laughs> it's a hangover. What? Yeah. I will say, my having seen was, this anyway. first episode, <laughs> yes, there's a final scene in this. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but oh my goodness gracious. It really just ties everything up and leaves you wanting more, which mm. is really fun. Um, Katie, you've been part of Arrow from the very beginning. Now here we are eight years later with this new potential spinoff. How are you feeling about this next chapter of your life? Honestly, I mean, I'm so... But Juliana said it, you know, gratitude, grateful, thankful, you know, for everyone, these people, you know, we've become a family. Um, and what's really, what's really been cool is all, not just myself, but other writers, even Beth Schwartz, actually, you know, Arrow has been something for us that really elevated all of us and, and allowed us to grow as artists. And for me, it's been, um, I've had a chance to direct and I, 
think that it, it feels as though like that's sort of my sweet spot. I don't know. I just I, it was incredible. Um, and you get to see other Beth. She started as a as an assistant, and now she is a showrunner. And she's an incredible woman. And it's just it's been so amazing because we've been given so much opportunity and it's cool to, to just get to see people mm -hmm. grow and evolve cameramen you know our dp has directed our yeah. uh james bamford he started as our stunt coordinator and now he was he had become obviously an incredible director um but also executive producer mm -hmm. and so you get to grow with these people and yeah. so i'm just i'm excited and hopefully you know we continue to get to grow together as a family and yeah and yeah. Well, I'm continue. so glad that you brought up your directorial debut because I wasn't able to chat with you for it. You were so busy filming. I know. <laughs> uh, but if this series continues, would you be open to directing again? Oh, yes. yes. I actually, I've, I've asked and, and I insist. <laughs> I've asked and I, I definitely want to. I mean, I love directing. It's, it's amazing and it's everything that, I don't know. It, fe it felt very second nature for yeah. me. Um, but also such a great, wonderful educational experience in terms of doing the Warner Brothers Directors Program, mm -hmm. um, which I did. And and it just, it's so nice to have that collaboration and having all the heads of departments come together and bring your vision to life. Yeah. Um, and so it was really, it was really special and I had a blast and I can't wait to direct more. For sure. It's great yeah. for the actors too, because, um, you know, when you have your teammate there, like, you know, it's, it's, it's a different kind of uh, vibe on set and it's a, it's just a different, it's it's better. It's it's like familiar and it's just, um, yeah, I, I really want you to direct. Yeah, like, thank you. Like you're really, yeah, she's very talented. I love thank that. you. Yeah. I feel like also because I'm an actor, mm -hmm. what I, I felt was really beneficial is other actors, they feel safe. That's yes. what it is. With me, that's, so, cause yeah. I understand. It's one of your own. You no, know? yeah. yeah. That's exactly what mm -hmm. I'm trying to say. Yeah. It's safe, yeah. So that was, it was, it was just good. I yeah. loved it. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you. That's yeah, it. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> um, I am so excited because in one of the promo photos, we saw that the lovely Juliana huh? is, is giving us a different canary cry oh, in yes. this episode. We see Dinah yes, more of a, singing. Yes, a canary ditty. <laughs> I'm so excited. Talk to me about how this came about. Were you nervous? Were you excited? Your voice is sensational. Thank she's you. incredible. Yeah, oh, yeah thank she's you. amazing. Thank you. Um, it came about, I think, because our writers follow me on Instagram and saw that I play instruments, and they were like, hey, that's really good, would you? And Beth called me one day and just said, would you want be interested in playing for the show? And it was, it was, it felt second only to finding out that the show was happening. I was so excited. Um, it was actually like a dream come true, really. And um, something that I had been nervous to do in the past because music always felt, more intimate mm -hmm. to me and and like I'm sharing my soul as opposed to playing a character and you kind of share that character so um so I was like this is like the universe telling me that I have to be brave because mm -hmm. I'm not going to say no and then they were really collaborative and they allowed me to um, help choose the song they allowed me to write my own song and see if we wanted to use that for this episode um, and it was like the most fun day on set I felt really in like my element too, kind of how you were with directing. Mm -hmm. That's how I felt playing. So I want music to be a, a big part of this show personally, because actually all of us can sing and, and play music. And um, I think- I was just really proud too. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> she's incredible. And I love that they're giving, you know, they're adding that sort of, it's, it's something new. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a, the element of being fresh. You right, know? right. It's and fresh having, energy. And having, growing and having other opportunities. So yeah. It's all, it's all positive. All very special things. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have a very special fan question for you guys Ooh. right now. Um, and so go ahead and look right here on the monitor and we'll play it for you. Hey ladies, ah! surprise! Is she, is she I'm alive? so good that I couldn't oh. be there with I'm you like, today. I'm here on set for another project, but I'm with you in spirit and I thought I'd give you a question of my own. I wanted to know what your favorite moment of shooting this episode was. We had to have Kat be part of this. Yes, I, I love this. that. She's filming a different project right now, but I was like, all right, let's get her involved. She sent in a fan question. Yeah, I love that. Hi, girls. So, Hi, girl. We miss you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so your favorite part of filming this episode. Oh my gosh, that's so tough. I think the moments where we were all together mm -hmm. in costume after we had like, you know, just like accomplished our thing and I'm not gonna give anything away. We were just together as a group, as a team and like just feeling 
that energy of all of us together and our power and like knowing that we have this whole future ahead of us. Like there are just a few, there were different points in different scenes where I felt that way. But um, I don't know, just being with these girls like made me feel really good about yeah. the episode. I was, sorry, I'm just trying to think. I think it was, yeah, so there's a scene where um, we enter, I don't want to give any spoilers away, but I'm trying a to think of where you're certain about. location. Okay. Um, and like the three along. of us, <laughs> yes. and I'm basically, I have this mo long monologue and I basically take a glass. Yes. And it's oh. the moment that she reali uh, Mia realizes that, you know, she's yes. like, she catches the glass as I'm testing her and she's like, holy shit, I am, she has these skills. Mm -hmm. Um, already in that live within her, and so she she starts to realize that this is the world she sort of starts to step oh. into. But what was really cool about this scene, mm -hmm. also the last scene in the episode where we clink glasses, mm -hmm. but what was mm -hmm. really cool about this scene was we couldn't we were struggling to find it. And what was awesome is again it's a collaboration and not we to have like, it right hit, there. Yeah. Oh yes, Aww. at the end. At the end. <laughs> That scene at the end was also sort of like we were mm -hmm. coming together and I loved yeah. that moment. But before, yeah. the other one was like we were collaborating and you know, even the director and Beth and like trying mm. to just find it and figure it out. I and love we that. did and it was yeah. awesome. It's time for you to be the Green Arrow. I remember everything. Yeah, it was cool. It felt well, like and that's a team. what it felt. It was, yeah, it was. And it felt very organic as a viewer to be able to watch that as well. I love the fact that this is such a great time for female empowerment. What are the chances that this Green Arrow and the Canaries backdoor pilot is coming out the same month that Birds of Prey is coming out in theaters? Isn't that funny? I don't oh, know. that is funny. Yeah, things well, always happen in cycles like that. Yeah, but you know what? I think it's good. I think like yeah. again, the female empowerment. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's awesome. Like they're all of the actors. Margot Robbie, you are invited to come to our show. Oh, please. If you want to come, maybe please. do a little cameo. We would totally be fine. Any with of that. those girls. Just would, oh my God, that, that anyone. Would be so yes. fun. Do you think that that's something that you guys would be open to? Oh, my gosh, yes. yeah. I mean, if Margot Robbie called, I mean, hello. Sorry, Margot, let me check my schedule. Yeah, I'm not sure we have, well, we may not have it in the budget. Is this going to work? That's what <laughs> Can you imagine, like, oh, it's a little tight oh, this week. Sorry, you're not gonna be. <laughs> no, that have would be somebody else. Just <laughs> but I, have, call. I, I seriously though, I think it's a, it's a cool thing that it's happening at the same time because, and one of the themes of our show and the way that we interpret the comic and the story is that, um, especially with our character, there can be more than one. It's not about mm -hmm. there is one black canary yeah. and this is what. It's like any woman can be the black canary. Yeah. It's about this and it's about your integrity and it's about you know your inner strength and then how you and um, so I think it's kind of cool because it sets that standard like on a bigger level with our character to have it in the movies and mm -hmm. in, in and one person and also having um, biracial black canaries on both ends very very good so this whole thing is really good and I think that we're all moving towards something that's bigger and better mm -hmm. and a world that's bigger and better and that's why this show is important yeah absolutely yeah. very well said Thank very you. very well very said, well said. Um, I love that you're talking about the fact that you know obviously we can have so many different characters in there you guys are, are really giving us a completely different twist on things we are set back again in 2040 what are some characters that you would love to see appear in this series <sighs> Right? Anyone from the Arrowverse oh, or from the DC Comics? Oliver, Oliver Queen. Queen. Oliver Queen. Ow! <laughs> well, I can't tell you. I'm just saying. It's Maybe there's still a Green world Arrow in and the Canaries. Okay. okay. Who knows? Who's I mean, I'm like my brain is still broken from crisis. I'm just you're like, like well, just we're clearly in. not over yeah. it. <laughs> Um, but it, it's it's really cool because since it's still set in the DC world, we can't have it opens up the world to so many new characters, of course. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I <laughs> oh mean, anything gosh. is possible in mm -hmm. this world, in this universe. So yeah, there is no Arrowverse anymore. There's all of us together. Yeah. So anyone from any one of these worlds. I mean, look in like you know, I would love to like have because Harley Quinn is Birds of Prey, right? So what if we had like the Joker on our show? That would be Who sick. says the Joker has to be a male? Yes. By the way, why can't I play the Joker this one day? This is why she's a director. This yes. is why. She, this is why. Hello, the white hair. You it's a little that. messy mascara. You'd and be I'm an there. amazing. <laughs> Wait, that actually would be really cool. We should right at now. least do a Joker photo shoot. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yes. Yeah, cool. But anyways, sorry. Uh, no, cool. it's okay. Uh, <laughs> Not too off track. This episode is, of course, our second to last episode of Arrow of all time. I've got to talk to you about the series finale. When you guys read that script, what was your initial reaction? How many tears were there? So good. 
Oh, just from the first page, just weeping, heaving sobs. <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah, I, it's still, it's like so surreal still, I think. You know, it takes a second to like, I'll, all I know is, wow, actually I'm not gonna say anything because oh, I almost just, uh, yeah. Also gave away some things. Oh, I thought so you were gonna say cry. Gonna say I was like, like I'm, I'm right here for the entire screen. <laughs> I would not do that. So, <laughs> so you've been trained eight years. Can you imagine if you dropped it? I now? know, right now. Oh, That's how things happen. I, I love it so <laughs> magic. And I'm like, I'm like, yes. Uh, You're like, tell us. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> It's know. because I haven't seen you since Comic Con. And oh you know, yeah. yes. That I'm just like, oh, mm -hmm. let's, let's you lean know. in. Yes. Let's lean in, you guys. Almost um, got me. Almost got me. Almost. Damn Lips it. are sealed. <laughs> well, right. Wait, what was the question? But very, <laughs> very emotional. Yes. yes. Oh, very really? Emotional. Last grit. Oh, the yeah. Oh, so emotional. We were all a wreck. I mean, we were all just breaking. It, and it was good because we were all there for each other. Everyone was breaking down at random times. Um, and uh, it's because we realized how much we loved each other yeah. and how grateful we were. And again, it's just like this new series is being born out of so much love, out of so much hard work, out of just thousands of people and hours and, you know, of like uh, creating this world that's, that's amazing. So to see it come to an end was so intense, um, but then also to, to keep it going is so mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. yeah. Well, lastly, what is the one thing that you want Arrow fans to know before they tune in to this special episode? Um, well, thank you yes. for all the support. And we wouldn't be here this long if it weren't for the fans. And, you know, continuous, like, for tuning in. Um, also, they're in for a, for a wild ride. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just thank you. I mean, truly, like, you are what... It's almost like this is a fantasy world that we create at work, but then you come into the picture and then it becomes real mm -hmm. because, you know, you share your stories with us and you, you... And we do it for you. And we do, we literally do it for you. So, so thank just you. Just thank you, yeah.